Over the last 20 years, we've written dozens of Mac and Windows desktop applications. A lot of those applications have the need for a lot of common features regardless of what the application actually does. Things like text editing, diagram manipulation, scaling, scrolling, uh, pagination, printing, tool palettes, toolbars, commands that are undoable and redoable, things like grids and tables where you can enter and manipulate information. Well, when Real Basic uh, became a significant programming language, we took a lot of those common core features that were in all of our applications and we brought them into a set of common reusable Real Basic classes that can be added to any application within minutes and take advantage of the tens of thousands of lines of code that we had developed. A lot of applications need the ability to open, edit, and programmatically manipulate large text files. So we created a core component called RBEdit that encapsulates all those core features. And we, we're going to demonstrate it here with a little sample application. Essentially, from the file menu, you can open, save, close, and print your text. From the edit menu, you can cut, copy, and paste, find, and replace text within the file. And then you've got features for formatting that text with margins around the text, color, uh, font names, styles, and sizes of the text. Essentially, all the core things that you'd want to do uh, programmatically to the text file, and you can do it with virtually no programming just by using the, R the RB Edit component. A lot of applications need to present a drawing surface. They need toolbars and tool palettes and undoable commands. So we've created some core components, RB View, RB Palette, and RB Command, which we'll demonstrate in a little sample application. In this application, you can see that there's a toolbar across the top with various common tools that you'd see for opening, saving, and closing documents, maybe printing a document, some tools for creating objects on a diagram, and let's just take a look at a few of these. For example, if we put a box on the diagram, we can scale the box bigger and smaller. Uh, we can also take, and uh, if we do an operation, we can undo and redo the operation. Some other things we might want to do, we might want to have a background color, for example, or we may want to uh, set how many horizontal and vertical pages or the pagination of it of the drawing. There's a lot of things that are commonly done in lots of types of applications and a lot of those core features can be put into just a couple of component classes that can be reused. A powerful grid component can be used in almost any application. We'll demonstrate the RB grid component in a little sample application here. A grid's essentially a set of columns and rows and here we can see we have a column of static information uh, we have a column of information where the cells can be manipulated as uh, edit fields. Uh, here we have a uh, pop-up menu where you can change information within that particular uh, cell of the grid. And here we have a combo box where you can either type information or select from a drop-down. Here we have a, have a set of checkboxes that you can uh, set or clear. Uh, radio buttons that can be presented either uh, horizontally or vertically. Uh, we can have a slider bar uh, where we can slide and we can have information from one cell connected programmatically to another cell. Some other things you can do with grids, for example, uh, you can have fixed uh, header rows on uh, across the top or along the left hand edge. Uh, you can, of course, change the color and the fonts and the styles of, of any cell within the grid. Uh, the cells within the grid can be uh, read from a file to populate them, uh, programmatically manipulated and make connections between different cells of the grid. Uh, it can be saved out. Uh, you can have live uh, data cells where cells of the grid actually connect to a database. Uh, you can make rows visible or invisible. For example, uh, let's make row 3 right along here, make it invisible. It's still contained within the component, uh, but you can hide and then show the data within a particular row or within a particular column. You can flip uh, columns around and rows around, and here's a couple demonstrations of that. There's a lot of things you can do with a powerful grid component within virtually any kind of application. To learn more about RBAP, just go to excelsoftware.com and then the main uh,
portion of the page, go to the Real Basic Components link, and there you'll see a page of information about RB App, all the various components that it supports. There's also links to download RB App and try it on your own project, and there's step-by-step -step instructions that will actually get you up and running on an existing project or a new Real Basic application uh, within about 10 minutes.